This 40-year-old Caucasian male was referred to our endoscopic unit with white, plaque-like esophageal lesions for further diagnosis and therapy. The patient has suffered from odinophagia for many years, which has significantly increased in the past few weeks. Endoscopically, you can see white plaque-like, partially shaggy-looking lesions stick out. These changes seem to be arranged like paving stones, semicircular to circular. There is no evidence of a polypoid tumor mass. Histological examination of a diagnostic endoscopic resection proved the diagnosis of Verruca's carcinoma. Matching to the well-differentiated tumor, the FICE mode does not enhance the neoplastic structures, but the esophageal mucosa in between. This phenomenon can be explained by an accompanying mucosal inflammation. Here, 2% Lugol solution is sprayed onto the esophageal mucosa, which results in dark brown discoloration of normal mucosa, lasting for 5 to 8 minutes. For detecting squamous cell neoplasias, Lugol staining remains the gold standard. Lesions showing a lack of absorption of the iodine stain are suspicious for neoplasia, especially white areas without any evidence of staining. Other Verruca's carcinoma, like this one you see here, are slightly yellowish, discolored, and the plaques are more prominent. And yet other tumors show a more papillary or wart-like surface. The surface of this fourth Verruca's carcinoma looks, in our view, like goose pimples. The patient was suffering from dysphagia, although you cannot find any stenosis. Do you see any remarkable findings? Yes, you're right. The esophagus shows the typical small holes in the esophageal mucosa, as we find in esophageal pseudodiverticulosis. In our collective of patients with a diagnosis of Verruca's carcinoma, we regularly find esophageal pseudodiverticulosis, explaining the symptom of dysphagia, or odinophagia, that has persisted for years.